What's up guys? Common Bell here and I play Fighting Leaf on the Interwebs. And I'm his video viewing buddy. I'm viewing this video. And today we're watching something very special. A Don Bluth short cartoon called Banjo the Woodpile Cat. It's bound to be quirky, silly, and only slightly terrifying. So, let's hit that play button and see what happens. Oh, the music went away. Ah. Oh. Don Bluth Productions presents Zazu. Zazu's in this movie, you notice? Well, you see, he went out of service and out of Africa because he wouldn't mm. hang about, and this is where he wound up. Okay, okay. I feel like we're missing vital plot information by talking over the banjo song. Uh, apparently, Banjo is a woodpile cat who seldom did what he should. Is that why he couldn't be good? That's why he couldn't be good. Chicken! Look at him not being good, Banjo. His life would be re later reformed when he made his eternal friendship with Kazooie. You can tell that they are girl cats because they have bows. <laughs> Mama Cat doesn't have a bow. She doesn't even have a collar. Well, you see, she's trans. She took off her bow and became a male cat. Now I'm thinking male as in male delivery cat. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I meant. Mm, I can't stop him, but I'm just going to look at him angrily. Look at all the weird stuff he's been through. It's a wonder that he's still alive after all that. Well, he's alive, but he has lung cancer. Mm. One thing I've noticed about Don Bluth's style is that he really likes opening their mouths. How else will you tell that they feel things? Freedy cats! Hey, that's racist. It's okay. He's a cat. <laughs> that silly cat murdering his sisters. Be good, Banjo. And you're going to land something on the seat of your britches. But he doesn't wear britches. Ah, uh, yeah, this how, was... How, how, this how was the... This was made back in the days when that was... That was normal. You see, a switch is a spanking paddle. Paddle? No, 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 no. Thin. Like yes, it's, it's designed to be extremely painful, and it was used as a torture mechanism for when kids were bad. So be thankful that you kids don't have to go out and cut your own freaking switches! You kids and your lack of child abuse! Get off my lawn! I'm not having a good time. I'd be having a better time if I let Dad hit me with a 2 by 4 That truck is offensive! Hmm? Why? I was actually enjoying the beat. Because it is... It's gas mileage is terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Terrible for the environment, but a great beat. Ho, ho, ho. I'm saying good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in a cartoon. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. Two hillbillies, and I count at least four teeth between them. Fake. My hillbilly ancestors are offended. Mine don't really care. For, for someone who's done so much stuff through his life, he is still very, very tiny. His badness level is very high for his size. And so is his lung capacity, apparently. Uh, I should probably sync up the audio. Oh, they're in Utah! There. Definitely. Ah. Buck Tracy, little nanny. Aww. If we had a remote, blood, I could... Blood, 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 blood. Here. Okay, so the delinquent has attempted murder. He uh, got drunk in public. He uh, smoked something that we can only hope was tobacco. Uh, more attempted murder. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what fish do. And gambling. Yeah, that's right. Yes, when a when a fish is attacked by a talking cat, that is not what it does. You are correct. Oh, I remember this bit. <laughs> Saves a lot on animation if you just jostle the screen and back up it. But what the? How did he? How did he get? How did he? 
Was there a springboard that we just didn't see? Should I have put this sound effect in it? And you're sent pizza, that's awesome. There should be an apostrophe! It's not okay! It's not okay! I can deal with the talking cat! I can deal with the rubber boingy animation and the total disregard for physics, and I can deal with the meowing fish, but there should be an apostrophe! It's just a matter of principle! This looks suspiciously like one of the opening scenes of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of American Tale, when they're on the ship. Oh, okay, yeah, we should really contact the guy who did American Tale and tell him that Don Bluth plagiarized him. Mm, totally. Hi, rats. You're not a rat! Or, wait, yeah, you're not a rat! You're a cat! And this is where he and Five will cross paths, and their parents are right across the, the corner, and yet they still miss each other. Mm, no, no, see, yeah, when you said this is where he meets Fievel and their parents, Romeo and Juliet story immediately popped into my head. Only way that could go. Star-crossed cat Puppy. Hey! Puppy. Um, uh, Lady in the Trap? Mm. Like, they, they, they look exactly the art style. Okay, fine, shut up. I'm, I'm done. I would have gotten a more Fox and the Hound type of thing. Yes. Okay, yes. Apparently that partic- is that, what, a Basset Hound? Yeah. Okay, yes. Apparently Basset Hounds just look like that when animated, you know? <laughs> Cats can look like anything. Mice can range from Mickey to those terrifying monstrosities he just found in the sewer, but Basset Hounds, that's what they look like. Or Goofy. I'm pretty sure that's what he's supposed is to be. Is he a Basset Hound? I think he doesn't make any sense. Okay, then what's Pluto? Because uh, as disturbing as it is, I really think they're the same breed of dog. <laughs> With the crap. ears and the face and the, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> However, one is anthropomorphic and the other is not. And the other that's is... the difference. One has human rights and I guess the other is special needs. <laughs> I'm not the first person to make that joke, so I feel comfortable. No, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Why did I do that? I'm sorry. And that's why my fans love you. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you had a yellow mother and an orange father, right? And you've got an orange little boy and a yellow little girl. So is the mailman cat gray? That it's a it's a it's an adultery joke because there's the little there are three cats and one of them doesn't look like the... my humor is wasted on you. That trash can is dancing, run! That's like a proto proto R two D two. Is is that food? Oh yep, he thinks that's food. Oh, you food. He also likes giving these types of characters really big lower lips. I mean, is it is it racist if I point out that it's because Don Booth is probably being racist? No, that's that's not really how that works. Like that's that cat may be orange, but that is definitely a black cat. Um, I don't think I think he needs to go a size down. Incidentally, my name is Crazy Legs. Crazy Legs? Yeah, Crazy that's a kid. Legs. Mr. Legs, do you think you can help me? <laughs> Mr. Legs, how many legs does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll side of the Tootsie Pop? I'm hearing this wheeze in his voice. Long way from there. Hey, crazy! Can we look for the truck too? Uh, excuse me. That is Mr. Legs to you, child. Oh, Only I... my friends and ex-girlfriends call me crazy. Not for the same reason. Oh, I smell the musical number. I am disappointed. Salt Palace Revue. Hmm. I believe it's pronounced Revue. Ah, okay. Ooh, music really is toe-tapping, as it's described on the back of the box. Mm, no, 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 it's whatever this is. My toe's totally stationary. The Cat Sisters Variety Show. Ah. Oh. Okay. Last time we learned that iguanas apparently have nightclubs. And now we know for a fact that cats definitely have them. Wow, I feel like her lower lip is about to fight Crazy Legs for dominance. And I know which one is gonna win. Uh, this is like that, that scene from that weird Cricket in the Hearth cartoon. Why does that cat look like a Pekingese? Maybe Don Bluth is trying to be inclusive? Oh, Zazu. That's, that's Zazu. I told you! That's the black cat! 
She's purple, but... And she's glittering, which means she's probably an alien. Knocking about the city could get into a heap of trouble. Did you see that lip fight? Yeah, I saw it. Is this whole thing just an advertisement for Chipman? Go buy Chipman feed for your woodpile cats? Okay, yes, we're definitely trying to get you home, and I know you're homesick, but don't think about that. Just stick with me. Everything will be fine. It'll just stick with me. Everything will be fine. And this is why you're on the show, because you make the jokes that I won't. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, she is wearing clothes. I was confused for a minute there. Uh-oh. This is back in the days when smoking did not automatically make you the villain. This is a very old cartoon. Is that a Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, that's smoke. I'm pretty sure that was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Santa Musketeer? I was gonna go with uh, Captain Santa. Um, not really sure how to immediately make it obvious. I mean, he's a pirate. Wait. Captain Pegleg Santa. There we go. Santa pirate. Is it, this is this is better not be bowling for elves again. Elf bowling. That's what it was called. The truth is, Miss Darling, there ain't no food in town. <laughs> what a jaunty tune about starvation. All right, all you cats. This little fella. Yeah, he said it. He said cats. So get on back to your own neighborhoods and start searching. You're gonna come out. Get on back to your own neighborhoods. I don't want to see any tabbies in my neck of the woods. You're gonna come out it's your yes, I, okay. I, 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 I. Okay. 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 Well, that's it. Jarring? Wait, I was gonna say wait, jarring. There. And now all they have to do is search every single truck in the freaking city. Oh, come on, it's Utah. How many could there be? Uh, I was just wondering where the dogs were. I almost felt that, kid. If only he could have moved, but they were animating something else. <laughs> uh, now it's an exciting chase scene. Now it's an exciting chase scene. Now it's slightly more exciting. You're not supposed to be on that. Bad side, bad side. There you go. You have no idea how hard I'm restraining myself. Ever since they appeared, I've been wanting to make a Who Let the Dogs Out reference. Can I? It's not, it's not the early aughts no. anymore. It's not relevant. But we just watched the duck thing. I know, but no. But the dogs, they were let out. Who did it? The question still remains unanswered to this day. Oh, fine. And people stopped caring a fine, long time ago. Fine, fine. The dogs are gone. It doesn't even matter anymore. It's too late anyway. Somewhere out there. I'm not a good singer at the best of times. Why am I doing this when I have a sore throat? She has a sore throat for anyone who didn't catch on to that before now. Here we go. This is the scene that I remember most, because I have actually seen this before. And I'm just showing it to her because she makes all the better jokes. You see? This is what good guys do. They, they keep thinking about the good that they need to do. And that's how, when I first watched it, I originally thought that he was going to be some kind of swindler or a bad guy. And then I realized, no, this video is a, way too short for that level of complexity. Yeah, yeah. You saw that lower lip and you thought he was a bad guy. You racist. Well, I know better now. That's right. This is all because you couldn't freaking be good. What's wrong with you, you stupid cat? The truck would already be here if you were somehow capable of turning your life around. But... What's out? Gotta take some green down to peace. Peace? Right, that's a great little town. I, you know, I used to live- Payson, yeah, we should say that a couple more times just to make sure the cat heard. Wake up! Wake up! It's here! It's the truck! Come on! It's Christmas! Wake up! Me! I'm going home! Ha <laughs> We're still going home! Let's continue celebrating until the truck leaves! What are you doing there? You need to get on. That's it, little buddy. Get up, get up there. Don't wait until it becomes exciting. Just get there! Please, 
Daddy, the truck, the truck, the truck, the truck, the truck, the truck. You see, this is what happens when you wait too long. It gets exciting again. Yes, you can reach it. I can't reach it. I reached it. Excellent scripting there. A plus. Uh, I wonder how many arteries burst when I was doing that. <sighs> Fat cats can't run. It's funny. You've been gone for a whole day. We already replaced you. Do you know how many switches he's going to have to find after this one? <laughs> this was this was a romp, a regular, a regular hoot nanny of a good time. It was cute. I liked it. Indeed, indeed. It was ridiculous in its own ways, but always, always kept it fun. Oh, it's here! My toes! They're tapping! They're tapping, indeed. And so, on that note. We will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.